Good day everyone! Today, we're going to have subtraction with regrouping. Gino has 15 gambles and he gave 3 to his little sister. How many gambles did Gino have left? In able to solve this, we're going to have this equation. 15 minus 3 is equal to n, where 15 is what we call the minuend. It is the number from which we subtract. 3 is the subtrahend. Subtrahend is the number that we subtract from the minuend. And n is the missing difference. Difference is the answer in subtraction. So let's solve this problem using the count backwards method. So from 15, let's count backwards 3 steps. 15 on your mind. 15, 14, 13, 12. So that means 15 minus 3 is equal to 12. Let's have the next one. Nathan went to a bookstore with 375 pesos. He bought a set of pencils worth 48 pesos. After paying the cashier, how much money remained with him? So we have here 375 minus 48. Always remember in subtracting numbers, you need to align the numbers according to their place value. And you're going to start subtracting from the ones place. So we have here 5 minus 8. Since we cannot subtract 8 from 5, we need to express the numbers differently. We call this process regrouping, but before that, I want you to see this illustration. So I have here 375. Since we have 5 minus 8, where 5 is smaller than 8, we cannot subtract them. That's why we're going to use the process of regrouping. We regroup 1 tenth from the tenth place and add it to the ones place. So 5 will become 15 and 7 will become 6. So we can now subtract 15 and 8. 15 minus 8. 8 on your mind. Let's count forward. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have... 15 minus 8 is equal to 7. Then, let's proceed to the tens place. 6 minus 4. 4 on your mind. 4. Let's count forward until we reach 6. 4, 5, 6. So, 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. Bring down 3 since there is no more number to be subtracted. So, the difference is... 327. Let's have our next example. 459 minus 295. Again, children, in subtracting numbers, we're going to start at the ones place. 9 minus 5. 5 on your mind. Let's count forward until we reach 9. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. Let's proceed to the tens place. 5 minus 9. Since the top number is smaller than the number at the bottom, we need to borrow 1 from 4. 4 will become 3, then 5 will become 15. 7, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 minus 9 is equal to 6. Let's proceed to the hundreds place. 3 minus 2. 2 on your mind. 2, 3. So, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. So, the difference is 164. Let's, from 12, let's count back 5 steps. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. 12 minus 5 is equal to 7. Then, let's proceed to the tens place. 5 minus 3. Let's count backwards, 3 steps, 5 minus 3, 5 on your mind, 5, 4, 3, 2. 
5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Then let's proceed to the hundreds place. 5 minus 7. Since 5 is smaller than 7, we need to borrow 1 from 2. 2 will become 1 and 5 will become 15. 15 minus 7. Let's count backward 7 steps. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. 15 minus 7 is equal to 8. Then let's proceed to the thousands place. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So that means the difference is 827. I hope. Let's see if your answer is correct. Again, we're going to start subtracting from the ones place. 6 minus 4 is equal to? Very good, it's 2. 3 minus 8. Since 3 is smaller than 8, we're going to borrow 1 from 5. 5 will become 4, then 3 will become 13. 13 minus 8 is equal to? Good job, it's 5. Then 4 minus 2 is equal to? Fantastic, it's 2. Then 7 minus 5 is equal to? Very good, it's 2. So the difference is 2,252. How about if we have this? Again, using your drill board, find the difference of 9,360 and 3,945. Timer starts now.
times, huh? Let's see if your answer is correct. Again, children, we're going to start subtracting from the ones, please. 0 minus 5. Since 0 is smaller than 5, we're going to borrow 1 from 6. 6 will become 5, then 0 will become 10. 10 minus 5 is equal to? Very good, it's 5. Then let's proceed to the tens, please. 5 minus 4 is equal to? Fantastic, it's 1. Then let's proceed to the hundreds, please. 3 minus 9. Since 3 is smaller than 9, we're going to borrow 1 from 9. 9 will become 8. Then 3 will become 13. 13 minus 9. I can't hear you. What is it? Good job. It's 4. Then 8 minus 3 is... Very good, it's 5. So the difference is 5,415. Always remember children, subtraction means taking away an object or a number from a set or group. In subtracting 2 to 5 digit numbers, align the digits by their place values, start subtracting from the ones place. And lastly, you only need to borrow or regroup if the number on the top is smaller than the number at the bottom.